TikTok has released the ability for creators to upload horizontal videos up to 10 minutes long and can be opened in full screen mode in a landscape format. This could be a game changer for many creators. Now it's entirely possible to create a video made for long form on YouTube and post the same video on TikTok without having to cut it up or make it vertical. And this also isn't something to ignore. TikTok is actively pushing this feature. They have told creators that videos posted in this format that meet their requirements actually are eligible for something called a view boost, meaning that TikTok is more likely to push the video to the FYP and the creators will get more views. It seems like TikTok is trying to compete with long form horizontal platforms like YouTube to get a better market share over that type of video. YouTube obviously is the OG, but never underestimate TikTok. So I'm definitely gonna be trying out to use this tool because if they're asking me to try something, I'm gonna listen to them. So today I'm gonna be going through all of this, all the requirements to make sure that your video is eligible for a view boost and to make sure that you format it correctly so that it does go into full screen mode. I'm going to give you tips and tricks for how to edit your videos to best make use of this feature because there have been some creators who have let it be known that there are certain things you shouldn't do when making videos for this format. And then I'm gonna show you guys how to upload them so that you correctly get the full screen button on your video. So let's get into it. All right, so firstly, let's go over the requirements to make sure that you get the full screen button to pop up when you post a landscape video on the platform. Okay, so first let's look at the message that TikTok sent to creators encouraging them to post videos like this. So it says video view booster, post videos over one minute in landscape to get increased views. Landscape videos where the width is greater than the height and are over one minute in length are the only ones eligible to receive increased views. Then they highlight the requirements. So creators have to have had an account on TikTok for at least three months. The videos have to be longer than one minute. They have to be in landscape format. They shouldn't be lip syncing or random recordings. They have to follow community guidelines. They of course only allow original content. Videos cannot be ads and they can't be from any political parties, governments, or really have to do with politicians generally. And then it says optionally use hashtag longer videos when you post. So those are all the requirements. Pretty simple. Really, you just need to make sure that your video is in landscape format and over one minute, and then you're not violating these other rules. So now I want to quickly go over how to actually create these videos and how to edit them properly. I came across this creator, Ken, who was posting about using this feature and how there were some difficulties that they came across when they were using this landscape video tool. The main thing that they noted was that subtitles in the TikTok app really aren't working for these longer landscape videos for some reason. They're not formatted correctly. And this part is freaking vital. You cannot add captions inside of TikTok at all. It messes with the video. I don't know why that's a TikTok thing. So they really, really recommended embedding the subtitles into the video itself. They also mentioned that it needs to be in 16 by nine aspect ratio, which is the aspect ratio of a YouTube video. And so today I'm gonna show you guys how to automatically embed subtitles into your video so that when it turns, these subtitles remain in the correct format. And I'm also gonna show you guys how to resize and trim just in case your video is longer than 10 minutes. So to do this, I'm gonna be using kapwing.com, which is an online video editor, so anyone can use it on any device. You can follow along by clicking the first link in the description, but any editor with automatic subtitling capabilities and resizing abilities should work fine. Okay, so this is kapwing.com. What you're going to want to do here is click the get started button and then sign in to your account. Then what you're going to want to do is click the create new button and then upload whatever footage that you have and want to edit. You can also paste in a link to a video online if you already have a video like on YouTube and don't have the source file anymore or something like that. Throw in this clip from my Dungeons and Dragons show. That's right, I'm a big nerd. So first things first, we have to make sure a few things are in the correct format. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you're clicked on to the video itself, just click off so you're highlighting the canvas and then go over to the resize canvas button and make sure that you are in the 16 by nine aspect ratio, which has the YouTube logo next to it. This is the aspect ratio that we need for a horizontal video. If you're starting with a vertical video, you'll probably have to resize to fit the entire frame. So make it the 16 by nine format and then just drag out the corners until it's filling the whole frame. Now you have to make sure that your video is long enough, but not too long. So as you can see, my video is one minute 
minute and seven seconds, which is good. It's over the one minute minimum limit, but it's under the 10 minute maximum limit. If it's not over one minute, then this video is not gonna work. You're gonna have to find another video to use, to try to use this tool. But let's say it's too long. All you have to do is trim or split your video to be under 10 minutes long. So if you wanna trim, you just have to hover your cursor at the end of a clip and drag it down, that's a trim. If you want to split, all you have to do is put your seeker onto a portion of the clip, then click the split button or click the S button on your keyboard, and then you can delete what you don't want. So that's how to make sure that the timing is correct. And then now for style, we need to make sure that the subtitles are embedded into the video. So to do that, all you're gonna do is go to the subtitles tab on the left here and click auto subtitle and start auto generating your subtitles. Okay, so then the auto subtitler will go ahead and work. You can see here that it does add the subtitles. It did miss a couple of portions because there were a couple of people talking at once. So if you want to manually add in more subtitles, all you have to do is click the add button on underneath a previous subtitle, then click add and type it in. And then you can retime it by using these set current time buttons. So set current time there, then set the current time to where it ends, which is right here. I just clicked the play button and found where it ended. Now you can see the beginning and end are set. And so I've added a subtitle. Now also what you can do of course is change the style. So I think these are too big. So I'm going to change it to this style here and then change the font to be much smaller so I can put it up here in the middle. Now you can see that these subtitles are animated automatically and they're smaller and customizable however I want them to look. Once again, you wanna make sure these are embedded into the video because if they're not, TikTok is seeming to have some trouble formatting. So once you're done with that, then you can just go ahead and click the export project button and export and then wait for it to process. Okay, so now that that's done, go ahead and download that and then send it to your phone. Okay, so now of course you're just going to open up TikTok and then add a new video. Click the upload button and then you're going to add in the video that you want to post. So now your video is ready. You don't really wanna do any editing in here at all. Click the next button add in a caption, and as instructed, you can type in the hashtag longer videos. Then go ahead and post that. Okay, so now it's posted and you can go ahead and see that the full screen button is there. Go ahead and click full screen. And there you go, it goes right into the horizontal format and people can now watch your video that way. All right, you guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to join an online community of modern creators and keep up with other tips and tricks like this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.